Help support the companies that support our community. The wood I'm going to use for this part of the cane is Bacote. So we were at a thrift store a couple of months ago and while Robin was shopping, I was in the back looking for bowling balls. <laughs> I didn't find one, but what I did find was two cabinets and it looked like they're brochure cabinets, but the sides of them were solid Bacote. So I bought both of them. They were 10 bucks a piece. I got four beautiful boards out of it and I even salvaged some of the plywood. So score. Ever since we found the bowling ball at the at the uh, garage sale, we've been going to thrift stores and garage sales nonstop. Robin is having a blast with it. She loves, loves stuff like that. The sword I found, we were cleaning out the attic and I found it up there. I've never made a cane before. Thought it'd be a fun project to do a sword cane. So let's get started. And I did the, the top of the handle actually out of walnut.
I used Gorilla Glue to glue the sword into the handle. So this is the only part of the project that's pretty critical. You need to make that line that you drill in the handle. I just used a small drill bit, drilled several little holes across there to make a, a groove for it. But that groove has to be straight because when you glue the, the blade into the handle, it needs to be lined up with the other part of the cane. So what I did was I used Gorilla Glue and I slid the sword and the handle into that brass ring just a little bit to make sure it was lined up because if you just glue it in and it won't go in and won't line on all the way up. So the cane is again it's out of Bacote and Walnut and it's about 35 inches long it works perfect for me and I also put a little magnet in there just kind of a I don't know I thought maybe it would help help hold it in but as long as that part of the cane the part that goes into the sleeve there is nice and tight has a nice little little pop to it so when I was turning it I kind of oversized it just a little bit and sanded it down so it locks in there you don't want that thing falling out when you're when you're walking with it I don't see myself walking around with a cane sword but it was a fun project one other thing if you don't have a lathe so my it, this part of it is 33 inches so I had to hang the headstock and the tailstock, I pushed them out as far as they would go. They were actually hanging out over the edge a little bit. But if you don't have a, a larger lathe to do that, you can still do them in pieces. Uh, Woodcraft sells a little kit where you, it, they thread into each other so you can do two small pieces and then have a brass ring there in the center of it. And that little band is from when I used to make duck calls. It was one of those and I just had a couple, a couple of spares laying around but it worked great. Um, the only thing I didn't do is I didn't put a foot on it. And if I was going to use this cane I would put a little pad on there or another smaller brass ring, maybe even both, a smaller ring on on that just to keep it from wearing down and getting chipped up and then maybe a little pad on the bottom of it but I really like what came out and that Bacote is beautiful it turned out very nice and when I was doing it I just routered out about half the thickness both ways with the router on both pieces and then glued it together and there was one other thing in the video you see me putting it into a clamp in those two pieces into a clamp I didn't leave it in there I just put it in the clamp to line it up so I could get the other clamps on it and it was just it was actually a pretty easy way to do it I hadn't thought of doing it that way before but as soon as I got the other clamps on I pulled it out there so it didn't didn't glue into my my uh, vice there but it works great and actually uh, goes in there and works nice and I like the way it came out it's a nice piece of walnut too has some some uh, uh, sap wood on it there but I real I'm very happy with it all right one other thing before I go to we're gonna be in um, uh, Chandler Arizona on the 25th at the Woodcraft uh, show down there so please we're headed out on the night and Sunday the 19th we're loading up the trailer and mobile shop again or camper and mobile shop again and headed down there so if you're in the Chandler Phoenix area please stop by and say hi we'll be there at the show all day all right take care and we'll see you next time